Hello everyone. Welcome to my programming club. Today we will be solving another daily lead for challenge. And the challenge name is Candy. So the challenge statement goes like this. There are n children standing in a line. Each child is assigned a rating value given in a integer array ratings. This rating array will be given to you. So each of the element of this rating array indicates a rating given to a particular child. So you are given candies to uh, you are to give uh, candies to these children uh, satisfying the following requirements. Each child must having uh, have at least one candy, uh, and the child with higher rating than its neighbor will be having more number of candies. So you have to return the minimum number of candies that you need to distribute in order to satisfy these two constraints. So let's have a look at the uh, constraints of the problem. Uh, so the length of the rating array will be of order 2 into 10 raised to power 10 and the values of the ratings will be of order 2 into 10 raised to power uh, 10 raised to power 4 uh, actually by uh, and uh, both of these are 2 into 10 raised to power 4 so let's have a look at the approach how we will be solving this problem uh, consider this as your given input. Uh, this is the given rating array, and so this is your input rating array. We will be using a greedy approach. What we will do initially, we will satisfy the first con constraint by giving each child a one candy. Uh, this uh, the, uh, candy array will be used to denote the number of candies each child will be getting. So, first we will check for the left neighbors, then we will have a check for right neighbor. During the check of uh, left neighbor, a child is having, uh, let's say this is a particular child you are considering, now it is having more rating than its left neighbor, so it will be having one more candy than its left neighbor. So its left neighbor was having uh, one candy initially, so this will have two candies. So uh, let's move uh, to the next child, uh, 87. Uh, 87 is having more uh, rating than its left uh, neighbor. Now you will also give one more candy to 87 uh, than its uh, left neighbor. So the left neighbor was having two candies, now 87 will have three candies. Similarly, you will keep checking for the left neighbors. Then you will check for the right neighbors uh, in a separate uh, loop. Uh, then, and uh, you have to implement an extra check. Uh, if there is a child having higher rating, then its right neighbor child is having higher rating, then its right neighbor and is having less or equal number of candies then its right neighbor then only you will update the candies to uh, right neighbor plus one uh, so this is to satisfy uh, this is to uh, ensure that you are using least amount of candies if uh, if a child is having already having more number of candies than its right neighbor while it was having a more higher rating than its right neighbor, then you need not to update uh, the candies of the uh, that particular child while checking for the right neighbors. So uh, this will be the two things that you will be doing. Uh, first, you will be uh, giving each child uh, uh, one candy at least. Then you will uh, update, the, uh, update the candies of each children according to their left and right neighbors ratings and the candies they are already having so that's pretty much it now let's have a look at the implementation so this is the implementation part uh, this maximum rating will be used in case the child is not having a left or right neighbor and uh, this candy array will be used to store the candies each child will be getting according to the requirements and this is the minimum number of candies that will be required to distribute 
minimum candy required to be distributed. So first you will check uh, for the left neighbors. Uh, you will check the rating of the left neighbor. And if in case uh, the rating of the current child is more than its left neighbor, then you will update his candies and you will give just one uh, candy extra to the child uh, in order uh, to ensure that minimum candies are being used for the distribution. Then you will do the same thing for the right neighbor along with this extra check uh, to ensure that only minimum candies are required uh, to distri uh, distribute uh, according to the requirements. Then you will get the total number of candies uh, uh, that will be required to meet the requirements and you will be returning those candies. So that's pretty much it for the solution part. So the code will be available in both of the languages, C++ and Java. If you are still having any doubts, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thanks.